Well, we have now seen what were the disadvantages of a file based system. So it's become very obvious that these advantages have been taken care of by the DVMS system, right? Because they have evolved from file based systems and they the basic intention was to overcome the problems that we had been facing with file based systems. So now we'll take a look at what are the advantages of TBMS systems as against a file based system. So I'll just write it down. That is the advantages of a DBMS system. The first advantage is it provides me controlled redundancy. We talked about the fact that in a file-based system there are different data items dispersed along different files and at times the data items are duplicated like we have the salary duplicated in two files, okay? In a DBS MS system such a thing never happens because we always have a centralized location where the entire database is recorded. All the data item values are stored at a single place. This place is obviously not a single physical place, it's a single logical place, okay? And when I say controlled redundancy, it means that although redundancy may be present, but it is only to ensure that we are able to recover from some catastrophic failures as in we back up the data at regular intervals. So if our database fails, say my centralized location where I've stored the database, it somehow malfunctions, then from the backup data, I can bring my database to a consistent state. That basically means controlled redundancy, okay? So backup is for controlled redundancy. Next advantage that we have here is Efficient data access and data isolation, okay? Efficient data access and data isolation. Obviously, we've talked about the fact that data is centralized, which basically means our data is totally isolated. Let's talk about the efficient data access thing. In databases, we have different access mechanisms through which we are able to access our data in a very in a very fast manner, okay? I don't have to go through the entire file to search for specific data item. What I can do is I can use a construct called indexes. These help me to pinpoint a particular record instantly, okay? So all such features we have available in DBMS that allows me to access the datum efficiently and quickly. The third point is transaction management. Transaction management. When we talked about what a transaction is and the atomicity property that we want from every transaction, that is every logical piece of work should be done in such a manner that either the entire thing is done or nothing is done, okay? Like in the previous example, we had seen either you transfer the money and ship me the item or you don't do anything. It shouldn't happen that you only transfer the money and you don't ship me the item, okay? That shouldn't happen. So such feature, atomicity, is guaranteed by my DBMS systems. It has certain protocols which ensure that all the transactions are always executed in an atomic manner. If a transaction fails midway, then what happens is the transaction is rolled back. What basically means is if after the transfer of money, the transaction fails, what's going to happen is the money is going to be returned to you. Okay? It rollbacks. The effects are under. Next point is concurrency control. 